Hello, this is Mr. Nihilus74, and today I'm making a video on installing the college football mode for Madden 24. The first thing you'll need is the tools from uh, dis from the Madden modding community Discord. Uh, open up your Discord and look for the Madden modding community. You don't really need to do much to join. And then you need to go to read this first. Start here. And then we need to find the tools that you need to download. Okay, we need to go to Madden. We need to go to Install Download Guide, Madden 24 Modding Installation Guide. And these, the editor you don't need. You only need that if you're going to make mods. But you need Spark, Madden Spark, and you need MMC Mod Manager. And then, for the college football mode, scroll down here where it says college football mode and click on CFBM24 downloads and then the mistake I made I thought it wasn't available um, because I was reading the top post and the download link wasn't available but you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's this link here um, mediafire.com click it, takes you to the site, you can download the file. I've already downloaded the file. So then what you want to do is you want to go to the folder that you downloaded it to and you'll need some kind of extractor. 7-Zip uh, is free and it works really well. Um, if you have WinRAR that works fine too. So this is the file here, cfbm, cfbm24 underscore beta underscore version 0.0.6.6 RAR. So I use 7-zip. I'm going to extract it to a folder with the same name as the file. <coughs> actually the first time I'm trying this on Madden 24. I did it, used it on Madden 22. I think I tried the Madden 23 version too, but it didn't work as good. I'm going to go ahead and put that zip file into that folder. Go ahead and open up my folder here. Um, so now I have the mod unzipped. What you're going to need to open next is your MMC mod manager.exe program. Then it'll ask you, like I have Madden 22, Madden 23, I want to do this for Madden 24. So I'm going to click Madden 24 and select it. So right now I have my Hot Route Master mod in here. I'm going to take that out because I don't think it's going to work with this college football mod. I hope it does because I wish it would, but it, it does. I don't think it does. I'll try that later. 
so I need to click on add mods and then I need to it's already on the folder CFBM24 underscore beta you'll need to go to the folder where you save it and here is the mod here so I'm going to open that up Looks like they have a franchise file included in the zip file and what you would do if you want to use that is you would copy it and put it in the save file folder for where your Madden 24 saves are. It's usually in documents Madden NFL 24 saves. I can right click and paste it in there. And then I can load that up in game when I play the game. Otherwise I don't think the franchise mode will work correctly when you go in there. I don't think it's that big of a file. Well, three gigabytes, I guess, so kind of taking a while to load. There it is. So I'm going to click on the CFBM24, apply mod. So here it is. Now the next step is you need to open maddenspark.exe. And I don't think it'll let you use any mods without opening this. Now one of the problems with the Madden Spark is when you download it and try to run it your antivirus on your computer is probably going to think it is a virus so you're either gonna have to tell your antivirus to allow it or turn off your antivirus while you're playing um, I just have Windows Defender and when I use it I turn off uh, real-time scanning in the Windows Defender and then it allows me to use it been using it for a couple days now I haven't had any problems so far um, so I think it's just the nature of the way the program works it thinks it's a virus so what you'll need to do is open up your maddenspark.exe and then you click activate mods and the reason that they have this set up this way is because they don't want you to use mods in online games because it's going to be like cheating and they don't want to be associated with that um, they probably don't want to get a hard time from EA about it or any, anything like that so I clicked activate mods and waiting on Madden to launch so then I'll click back on my MMC mod manager and I'm going to go ahead and click launch. You can make another one. Let's see, that's a nice little load screen there. Is that Caleb Williams or is that somebody else? It's a nice looking load screen though. Madden Modding Community.
want to see this little intro video here. It's a pretty cool video. Oh, they even had a picture of Post Malone in here. Oh, Deion Sanders. Coach Prime Time. I don't think he was a very good coach this year, though. Oh, they had Ralphie, the Buffalo. Seemed like Georgia should have gotten the playoffs instead of Texas or or uh, maybe instead of Texas. I don't know what was Texas's record. Record. Caleb Williams. Why Post Malone? Did he did suit play music for some kind of? college football commercial or something. Well, they got Michael Vick in his college football uniform instead of the pro uniform. That's interesting. So I'm going to go for quick play here. Play now. Nice little loading screen here. So this is just like in the Madden 22 college football mod. First it's going to have the pro teams and you scroll down past the pro teams. I think the last one is the Vikings. And then you start to get into the college teams. Air Force, Falcons. The play is Colorado. And then uh, I play against Colorado State maybe. So as you see, they got quite a quite a lot of college football teams in here. Oh, they didn't put Colorado State in here. Can't say that I blame them. They've been pretty terrible for a while. I don't want to pick anybody too hard. teams in here. Let's pick Nebraska. I should have did the um, uniforms. Let's see what uniforms they got. I don't like all these uniforms, different uniforms they got nowadays. A lot of times you're watching a team and you can't even tell who they are because they're not the... Now this is what I like, the old gold and black Colorado uniforms. So that's what I'm going to go with. Make it a night game. Levi Stadium, so they're putting CU 
in San Francisco's 49ers Stadium. I should turn down the volume of the announcers because I think they're just going to be talking about NFL stuff. Looks nice though. Oh, he didn't put my uniform, the right uniform that I wanted on. That's probably because they hit the wrong button or something. So they're saying it's in Denver. The uniforms look nice, so that definitely looks like Nebraska. Hoburg. Is that who they ended up starting? Did he do any good at all? Let's see. They're going to do a double tight end kind of thing. Receiver set. That's what I was used to watching Nebraska do in the 80s and 90s. Same with CU way back then. be able to stop some of these if I took control of the uh, cover guy. Try to get it in the way. play. Otherwise I think I would have got him. Let's see. Nicole. Roughing the passer. Just want to get the ball once with Shadur Stan Sanders. Nice throw. Nice catch. Jacksonville. See, I got to turn off these announcers. What you can do is you can just go to the uh, volume control, in game commentary. Be nice if they could have the marching band music that they always have at the college football games. You can imagine that's pretty hard to do. All right. 
right, let's see how Shador Sanders does. Too bad. They probably could be too hard to have a image of prime time on the sideline. hot routes it is not letting me do an in route for the tight end. You had it in your hands. hot routes. So I'm going to have to play with this. I'm, right now I'm doing pretty terrible at it. I'm going to have to play with it some more. And uh, But you can see that it works. go for it just for the heck of it well well you see that it works and uh, hopefully it works better for you and you're a lot of you are probably a lot better player than me and uh, you'll be able to do a lot more for this um, thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me out a lot and you can see the rest of my Madden videos and any other videos that you're interested in. Thank you.